Greetings, YouTube. I'm on my Grand Hill of One subscriber and probably the three people who stumble across this video. I just watched one of Rick Santorf's speeches to see how screwed everyone is if he gets into office like it seems he's a chance to. There's been a lot of talk about this guy and there's been a lot of quotes and I've been really hoping that they were taken out of context, but they have not been. Suffice to say, if Rick Santorum gets into office, I will drop out of college and move to Canada where I'll become a citizen and live there for the rest of my existence. Many people have said similar bullshit, like when George Bush was elected, or if McCain was elected, or if Obama was elected. But I truly mean this. If he's elected, I'm getting the fuck out of this country. Because... He wants to stomp all over human rights, force Christianity on everyone, tear down the wall of separation between church and state, and turn America into a Christian or Catholic theocracy. The amount of wrong, evil, and vileness that those thoughts, actions, and wills possess. It is very hard for me to look at that person and in any way think that under any circumstances I might not attempt to kill them on sight if I met him in person. And it's not because I'm an evil person. It's not because I'm bad. That's because those ideas are completely and utterly wrong. They go completely against what the country of America was founded for and what it stands for. Rick Santorum looks at the Constitution of the United States of America and he sees the very First Amendment the very first amendment penned by the founding fathers to safeguard freedom of religion, of speech, of the individuals. He looks at that and he says, ha, This is not worth the parchment it's penned on. I'm just going to rip it right out of the governing rules and throw it away, crumpling it up and burning it so it can never be implemented again. That's Rick Santorum in a nutshell. He will turn this place into a theocracy and that is not any exaggeration or whatever or anything that could possibly be imagined. That's his intent. It's clear. He is Senator Palpatine before he comes the Emperor. It's people like him who are ruining the world for everyone, including the religion they so blindly follow. He has no right to existence, period. While most people have some form of heart, this wretched creature of animated putrescence is nothing more than a soulless abomination which should be wiped from the face of the earth as brutally, violently, and publicly as possible to let any other such abominations out there know that their existence is not permitted in a world that is made up of many cultures, many colors, and many creeds. There should be no more Hitlers, and Santorum will become the Hitler who exterminates all religions but Christianity and Catholicism. I don't care if it's a violation to Godwin's law to compare someone to Hitler. In Santorum's case, there is no other to whom to make a comparison. Their platforms are amazingly similar. Hitler took control in much the same way that Santorum is taking control right now. I will not be surprised if shortly after he became elected, the rainbow pins that homosexuals like to wear to identify one another become mandatory for them to have on. I will not be surprised if all non-Christians are one day rounded up like they can be now thanks to the Nana bill and held in camps that the same bill provides for. So listen to the atheists, Jews, Muslims, fellow homosexuals, Buddhists, Christians who have some sanity, and all other groups out there who see freedom and justice for all, rather than freedom and justice for only some. Our only chance is to make it so that no, sure that no one votes for this foul blight upon the face of humanity. But if they do, you'll have to remove him, the vice president, and entire cabinet before they can, they can start our summary imprisonment and executions. For I truly believe he will have us of executive order out of existence. We cannot let the most disgusting aspects of society think they are better than the rest of society, or they can trample all over our rights. Down with Santorum, up with peace, respect, tolerance, and kindness.